bitches to kill all these frauds. We ain't playing no games, we just pulling their cards. No shame when I pull out this sword. Propane when I put on these bars. All I do is spit flames when I get on these songs. Like, what else am I supposed to do? Well, those nowadays are so emotional. Always in their feelings like the women or their children. I'm just trying to build them up like how a coach should do. We worldwide with it, we own the move. Trying to show our people how they supposed to move. We men of God, family men, brothers, friends, king, fathers, and soldiers too. Listen, nigga, we just trying to get it for the most high. See God living, don't die. I try to tell you keep the laws and you won't die. You try to tell me that I'm wrong and the whole time I'm looking like Get on my face, little lame nigga, you fake. Reptile nigga, you snake. Give me my space. Eat saw, give it up. We know we the real Jews, nigga, you hate. But don't eat them, don't worry about it. When he come back, you gon' meet your demise. And when he come back, he gon' give us our orders to kill everything and leave no one alive. See, these are not lies. I'm speaking the facts. All hail the Messiah, the king, and he black. Who chillin' right now with a legion of angels who ready to go and he holding them back like Hold up, wait, hold up, wait. Just reject the holy word, man. What's wrong with you? It ain't enough to say. You can get up out my face, boy. I'm done with you. It's an Israel celebration. It's the most high's declaration. Stop hoping for a nation that can't save with 40 acres. This the remedy of separation. The Maccabees of my generation. The red pill in today's matrix. Why they got us face down on the hard pavement? Young black nigga trapped, but he can't change it. No, he Israel, but he can't claim it. Cause they left him no platforms to explain it. He frustrated from the situation. But deep down inside, he know you can't fade him. How long should I stay dedicated? How long till opportunity be preparation? Till Christ come back with our reparation. To him, World War III is like recreation. Dedication, hard work, plus patience. We need all the sacrifices. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. Told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying. Dedication. It's the feast of dedication. Spent my whole life thinking out the box, searching for the truth. Then I realized it's a lot. Chirp on me, here I come. Spin around the block. They roped on me, said I read a stop sign, but I stopped. I spent my whole life staring at the stage, going blind, dealt the bad hand like I'm playing spades. Hard headed, bad grades. Couldn't tell my daddy about the truth before he died. My heart broke a hundred ways. I spent my whole life trying to make it, trying to chase it. The cycle of the black man divided, trying to break it. You hear the truth, bro? Don't cry about it. Just embrace it. A minor setback for major comeback. That's my favorite. And when you read the Bible, don't trip, calm down. 
don't get a grip and just listen to the scripts Cause it give us a tip by flourishing from the streets to black businesses Level four yard living, giving a false imprisonment Listen close, my nigga, it's bigger than deuces and foes, my nigga We gotta stay close, my nigga, it's straight like that I gave you the game, now go to the hedges and give it right back For generations we've been dealt bad hands with bad plans Letting other nations tell me who I am It's not about what we've been through, it's about what we came through They sit back like, look at how they move from dedication This ain't entertainment, we done Jews on the slave ship These songs are just spirituals we swam against the waves with Ended up on shore to their amazement They hoping the example we set is not contagious Lock us behind gates but can't tame us Messing with God's chosen is so dangerous Cause ain't no point in playing defense, nigga That's why I dove off the deep end, nigga, without a life jacket Study, pray, and apply, got my life cracking I can't wait till he come, no more taxes No more slaves, obey your masters I'd be damned if I slave us on white crackers This world full of lies, got life backwards When Christ cracked the sky, it's gonna be classic Start keeping the laws to get established But to make it happen, you got to have dedication Hard work plus patience. We need all the sacrifices. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. Told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying. Dedication. It's the feast of dedication. Whoa. Hey, shalom, Israel, most high in Christ, bless. All right, hey, shalom, shalom, most high in Christ, bless. Hey, this up with some Michael. We're going to rise and face Jerusalem. Israel, blow trumpet. <laughs> trumpet down. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Our Lord. We pray to you that you do not remove your Holy Spirit from us, that you continue to strengthen us and give us the strength and, and understanding that we need to go out and do this mighty work of bringing your lost sheep back into the knowledge and understanding of their nationality. These things we pray, Lord, in the faith and belief of your son, Jesus Christ, who you sent to die so that Israel might have forgiveness of their sin. Amen. Praise. Hey, good prayer. Oh, praises. Oh, praises. Hey, shalom, Israel, most high in Christ, bless. 
Oh man, hey, that camera looking good. Dang. Houston stepping up in this joint. Oh, praise to the most high, man. All oh, praises. I ain't gonna lie. I wish you could just go out just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can or can't. If you can go out just a little bit. That thing look good, bro. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's what I, I like that. I like that. Appreciate yourself, Joseph. All right, hey, Shalom Israel. Hey, guess what today is? Happy new moon, Israel. Happy new moon. Hey, um, last night, whoo, man, I'm horse. <laughs> Your brother horse. Man, we had such a good time down here in Houston, man. We had a good time. Excellent, excellent. Man, we didn't want to go home. <laughs> we did not want to go home, man. But you know, unfortunately, um, some of us, you know, have captivity today. Hey, um, one thing I definitely want to make mention of is, um, like I was telling some of the brothers last night. Well, actually, I mentioned before the congregation last night. Hey, listen. I say, man, y'all better enjoy this because this is something that the Most High gave, you know, us, the Israelites. He didn't get us... Yeah, you know, ain't nobody else gathering right now like this but the Israelites. So we better be joyful about that thing, man. So, hey, man, enjoy this feast day today. I hope y'all enjoyed it last night as well, the opening of the new moon. Man, like I said, we had a great time down here in Houston, man. We danced, we danced, we danced. Every brother in the house was dancing like David, man. I'm telling you, man, we had a great time. I just can't say that enough, man. But, hey, likewise, hopefully all of you guys had a great time as well and was able to gather, you know. And then on top of that, I'll go a little bit further and say, hey, you know, if you're able to congregate, hey, definitely make the effort. Because some people desire to and can't do it, man. They live too far and different things like that. All right. So I guess I'm done with my little rant. <laughs> hey, hey, Shalom Israel. I'm Officer Mike out of the Houston campus. Who I got with me? Talking your mic out. <laughs> Been a minute, officer. I'm officer Neil out of Houston as well. Oh, praise, oh, praises, oh, praises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing I'm really trying to do right now is make sure that I'm I'm lively, cause you know last time I got a you know a text from a brother say you look sleepy up here. <laughs> so I want to make sure you know I'm bringing a good uh, representation uh, for Israel. You might All get right. a pass today since you was up so late. <laughs> All praise to the most high. Hey, listen, um, this is something I had been thinking about about a week ago. Uh, whenever we do the daily bread, because it's an honor to, to do this type of class, man. Um, I text I text you about about a week ago, like with the title of this class. Yes, you did. Meditation becomes dedication. Meditation becomes dedication. And um, let's let's look at that definition real quick. <coughs> Meditation, real quick. Let's look at that. Oh, I like that one. Um, the reason why uh, these things cross my mind is, um, of course, you know, being being a leader in Israel, you have to deal with a lot of different people. Yes, you do. You know, yes, in their sir. situations and things they're going through. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it makes me wonder where people mind is mm -hmm. when it comes to you know um let's read this scripture real quick go to ephesians 1 and 18 when it comes to you knowing who you are and you're you're the most high have blessed you to come to this knowledge watch this read that real quick this is the book of ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. the eyes of your understanding being enlightened mm -hmm that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Right. So once you come to this understanding, read it one more time for me. Out. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Eyes of your understanding. The whole thing is, he said eyes, but you got to realize it's a similitude. He's talking about your mind. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You came to this knowledge of who you are. So in your day-to-day -day walk, are you really meditating on that? Are you really dedicated to the things that you're meditating on? You should be meditating on. Once you understand who you are, 
who our Lord is, our Christ, the Christ, uh, the anointed one, the Messiah, um, what nation you're from, who you really are. You've been disconnected. And then, you know, another thing I think about, too, is like um, with um, even even with the these, you know, churches and different things, like all of these different pastors, I sit back and think about, um, look at the time of Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, um, Hampton, Fred, Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Fred himself. Hampton. These type of spirits, it's like you, you can't dig deep enough today to find these type of men unless yeah. they're the ones that have repented. Yeah. You see what true, I'm saying? True. So that's like, what is your meditation at, Israel? Where's your dedication at? You had men that didn't even have the truth like this. Read that again for me. I this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 1 and verse 18. Come on. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, uh -huh. that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. So we know that. Now He said your eyes been, the eyes of your understanding, you've been enlightened to know the hope of his calling. Come on. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Right, because he said, look, um, you, 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 uh, you, are, you are poor, but you are rich. I'm butchering it. But you are rich. They that say they're Jews, but they not. You, you, you the one. These promises are to you, Israel. The God, God got a. I gotta read it real quick, and then we'll get into the class, man. Go to um, I believe it's First Corinthians, four, and nine, four and nine, two and nine, two. First Corinthians two and nine. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter two and verse nine. Come on. But as it is written. Uh huh. I have not seen, mm -hmm. nor ear heard, Come on. neither have entered into the heart of man Read. the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Right. And guess how he gonna you, you gonna all of us are gonna be proven one day do we really love him? Because we all gotta stand before the judgment seat and answer for these type of things. Was I really dedicated? Was I really focused? Was I really loyal? Was I really committed? All of these different things go into you. You should, you know, have these things within you. Um, I wrote down a few names that uh, of men that had that type of spirit upon them. They was dedicated. They was loyal. They was committed. All right. Um, like Nehemiah, when it came to rebuilding the temple, he was dedicated. He was committed uh, when it comes to Jonah. Uh, although he fled for a minute, but when he came back, he did exactly what the Lord wanted him to do. Uh, when you look at David, the scriptures, so, so many Psalms on how he felt pouring out his mind, you know, until the, the men that was writing for him, um, how he felt toward the Lord, you know. Um, and Paul, Paul, Paul said, look, some people were trying to tell him, look, don't go up to Jerusalem. He said, look, I'm not only ready to, to die. To, hold on, how you said it? I'm not only willing to go up and be beaten or whatnot, but I'm also willing to die for the name. That's dedication. That's dedication. And, of course, guess what? He had, he had time to meditate on that when he was blind for those few days. You see? So, um, and just like David, look at all the hardship he went through. He had time to meditate on, okay, when I get back right with the Lord, I'm, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go hard. And that's how we got to be. Man, I'm telling you, this, this has to feel good to you to know who you are, knowing all of the adversity that's around you. And you still be dedicated to that. That's what the Lord is looking for. That's what he's looking for, Israel. All right, so let's get started, man. Let's get started. <laughs> Go to, um, let's open up with um, Sirach. Sirach chapter 39 and verse 1. All right, so we're talking about, remember, you know, always put yourself in the mindset that this class is for you. All right, come on. This is the book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. And be occupied in prophecies. Your mind is always going to be 
up on the scriptures. Up on that's why um you know, like our bishops, you know, all praise to the Most High. The 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 zeal that he have on all three of them, the zeal that he have on them, um to help you, um get the kingdom. The only thing we can do is teach you the word. That's what they do for all of us. It just teaches what they know. That's the same thing Christ did when it comes mm -hmm. to the apostles. He taught them. Matter of fact, hey, let's get that one real quick. Um, Mark 14 and 63. Mark 14, 63. The only thing you can do is teach them. Now, after that, it's up to you, right? So it's up to you, the things that you've been taught to meditate on them and to see will you be dedicated in the end for your good. All right. And and we know the end is you get in the kingdom. You inherit an everlasting life, putting off this mortal body and putting on immortality. The mortal, immortal body. Come on. Um, start at 63. This is the book of Mark, chapter 14 and verse 63. Come on. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, What need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. Come on. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him. And all right. So now what we're going into is Christ is um, going uh, to be judged, right? Come on. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him and to say unto him, prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. Come on. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou said. Read. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crew. And a maid saw him again and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after, they that stood by said again to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean, and thy speech agreed there too. Right, right, right. So now he said that your speech. So guess what? He talked just like Christ. The things that he was saying, just like when we go out, people, um, Know who you are by your speech, by the things that you're saying. Um, I was telling uh one of the captains last night, um, at my job, a guy was just like um, eyes full of adultery all over the place, boom, 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 and looking at me like I'm crazy. I said, I've been married 17 years. You know, it's like showing you the difference of look at how our people carry themselves in the world and how you carry yourself when you are keeping God's commandments. That's a big difference. So it was a difference when all the people, Peter, right there in the midst of them. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's all fine. But no, you, even you talk like him. That was what was being said about Peter right here. All right, come on. Verse 71. But he began to curse and to swear. Saying. See, that's like, look at our people. Now you're going on, oh, yes, he look good. Now she look good, man. Now, man, you kind of weird. But if you fall for that, then you're going to start trimming your ways. You see that? But if not, no, you're going to hold fast to, to your belief. But let's see what Christ, what Peter had to go through. Read. But he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. Come on. And the second time the cock crew. And Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me three mm -hmm. thrice. Mm -hmm. And when he thought thereon, he wept. Right, because he had time to meditate on what Christ said. He had time to meditate on it. When the cock crew, he, he had bethought himself. Those thoughts started running through his mind. He had time to meditate on it, so he wept. All right? So, that was an example of Peter when he was in a um, in a time of, uh, like, for lack of better words, vulnerable moment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But what did he go on to do? 
He didn't deny him when it came time in the book of Acts right, at the right. porch in chapter 4. You know, and, and so on and so forth, writing the books of Peter. He didn't deny him. So he went on to do great things. The same way, likewise with ourselves. Um, Proverbs 23 and 7. Likewise with ourselves. We can do the same thing. That's what this opportunity for us is. Remember, the scriptures say he won't put too much on us that we can't bear. That wasn't more than Peter couldn't bear because Christ told him it's going to happen to him. Well, it's the same thing with us. He's letting us know you're going to be persecuted. Your family going to turn against you. People ain't going to like you. They're going to talk about you. Look at the way you dress. You ain't shaving your face. All kinds of stuff they're going to say about you. All kinds of different things, but you can't let that move you. Remember, um, Matthew um, 28 real quick. Matthew um, 10, 28. Matthew 10, 28 real quick. These are things that you have to meditate on in order to keep your spirit stirred up, to not get slack and, and allow the world to overtake you. Come on. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 28. Because remember, a lot of people spend more time around unbelievers than yeah. believers. Yeah. Watch this. Come on. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 28. Come on. And fear not them which kill the body, uh -huh. but are not able to kill the soul. Read. But, ra but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. That's who we should fear. Overall, that's who we should fear. All right. And not man. That's that's why putting on the show for, for people, man, it don't profit you. It do not profit you, man. Come on, let's read that in Proverbs real quick. So we got to make sure that we're doing all things as unto the Lord and not as unto men. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 7. Come on. For as he thinketh in his heart. For what? For as he thinketh in his heart. And he as he meditate on, read. So is he. You see that? That's what's gonna come forth. Any everything that's in your mind, you have to you have to think it first. That's why Christ said that was that Mark 7, starting at 21. From this is what proceed out of the heart of man. This is what man is meditating and thinking on. All right? You cannot let these evil thoughts overtake you. All right? Um, from there, no, matter of fact, go ahead and finish it out. Start to read it again. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 7. Come on. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Right, right, right. So the point of that one is, um, as a man think it. So we have to make sure the things that we're thinking about is thinking upon the scriptures, thinking upon salvation. Remember how he talks about uh, Abraham? He, he, he looked for a country afar off. You know, things like that, man. So now, here we are. We are already in the times of um, the Messiah came, um, uh, set the foundation for us to have way to repentance. You know, the scripture said that he... That, um, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So it's already been laid. So now we know what we're looking forward to, salvation, eternal life through our Savior. Hey, go to, um, let's get this example real quick. Matter, matter of fact, give me uh, Hebrews 13 and 6. Then we're going to get, some, uh, get an example on meditating, meditating. All right. Um, Hebrews 13 and 6. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 6. Come on. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Right, right, right. We may boldly say that the Lord is my helper. How can we boldly say that? By our actions, the things that we've been meditating on, and then after that, the things that we're doing. That's why study, praying, and applying is so important. Brothers think it's just a light thing, just a little, little slang that we done picked up on. No. Its actions have to be brought forth out of it. That's your from what you've been meditating on is the things that you're going to be doing. That's what you're dedicated to. You have to be dedicated to this truth, dedicated to um, uh, long nights, long drives, you know, uh, 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 spending funds all the way to the end. You got to be dedicated to do these type of things, all right? Even in, 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 um, in these times, Christ told him, look, don't. Don't worry about nothing. Hey, don't take a don't take a pearl with you. You're gonna have plenty to eat. You're gonna everything gonna be all right. Well, same thing. You gotta have the same mindset. All right. Hey, uh, go to Judges. Let's read this real quick. 
Judges chapter 7. Yeah, yeah. I ain't know we didn't finish it. Come on. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Right, right, right. I should not fear what man should do unto me. Hey, real quick, give me that one real quick. Did we read that definition? Yeah. Come on, let's read this definition real quick before we move on. All right. So we're going to read the definitions and some um, synonyms of meditation. Come on. Meditation. Synonyms of meditation. Long or deep thinking about spiritual matters. Right, right. Remember, um, that's why we just read Hebrews. I should not fear. You know, I should not fear, but you're going to trust in the Lord. These are things that you meditate on. You're trusting in because you know, oh, uh, World War Three, and you know the nukes, and you think right. about all these type of different. You better be, med <laughs> you better be meditating on the Most High, on salvation. All right. Um, what else? What else? Um, all the things that you could be faced with. You know, you 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 have to make sure that you're putting your trust in the Most High. All right. Go ahead. Words related to meditation. Brown study. Daydreaming. 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 Mm -hmm. um, Peter was in a, uh, a trance. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Introspection. And when he was in that trance, what happened? He was he was given uh, revelations. Paul was in a trance. Right. They was given more understand on spiritual things like we was just reading. Go ahead. Introspection. Muse. Navel gazing. Reflection. Reflection. That's a good one. You know what's another good word for reflection? Examine yourself examining yourself come on retrospection reverie study study the scripture say study to show thyself approved unto god go ahead trance that go ahead that go again they was in a trance go ahead wool gathering uh-huh cogitation mm -hmm. deliberation mm -hmm. musing uh-huh pondering 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 meditating thinking mm -hmm. on something that's why we read that one in um, 1 Corinthians. You know, eyes have not seen, you know, but you're pondering on these things. Mm -hmm. You have not heard the things that he has prepared for us that love him. Go ahead. Pondering. Uh -huh. Rumination. Rumination. All right. Um, now, we're going to read this one in Judges, and then we're going to get dedication. All right. We're going to read this in Judges. Watch this example about dedication. And remember, we got to have this same mindset. Remember, we go to war all the time. You know, look at all these blitz we've been doing, you know. So this, this is going to be an example of that. Watch this. Judges chapter 7, verse 1. This is the book of Judges, chapter 7 and verse 1. Then you, Jerubab Jerubiah, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Herod so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Moreh in the valley. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. You see that? So these type of things have always been um, around, these type of examples. Even today, you see... Um, you you don't you don't see a lot of these things uh prospering or making it man. Hey, like, look, one one example really came to my mind was uh the Million Man March. What the hell did that do? Nothing. They do all of this gathering, but it's not gathering unto the Lord, right? I think about that one the same way they gather with um um the tower, building the tower trying to get up to God. You know, he he confounded uh, Yeah, the Tower of Babel. He confounded them. It it was a bunch of nonsense. Then and it's a bunch of nonsense now. If you're not gathering to the Lord. So the point is now he's saying, look, uh, it's too many of them, unless they're gonna vaunt themselves. Mm -hmm. He always was mindful to keep pride away from his prophets. Right. right. <laughs> Watch this, come on. Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. Right. So we know the scriptures always let us know that um, we shouldn't have the spirit of fear, but we should have a sound 
mine. But look at the mercy. What he said, read that again. Now therefore go to, proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down into the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. Right, right, right. So now here's the separation. All right. So you have men um, that the most I would say would deem to be worthy. But it's going to come all according to their dedication. Watch this. Read on. Verse 5. So he brought down the people into the water. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. Right, right, right. So you had two different situations here. You had some of them, when they drank, they wasn't paying attention. You had some of them, when they drank, they was paying attention. Right? Come on. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand. And let all the other people go, every man unto his place. Right. You see that they was dedicated. They was dedicated. They didn't have to say, come on, man. Come on. Let's. Nope. Everybody was uh, focused. Everybody was focused. Those 300 men were focused. They could have been spread out throughout the camp, but he went through. Okay, I see him. I see him. Okay. Pull him to the side. Tell him, come over here. Tell him, come over here. Tell him, men ready for war, dedicated. And that's how we got to be. Those times are going to continue to be upon us, being ready and dedicated, all right? And that's why it's, it's going to be so important that um, something we do here in Israel United in Christ is we gather the men together to, to continue to strengthen their minds to be like this 300, even the 300 program, different things like that, men of value, all kind of things we, you know, come up with, our leadership come up with to build the men faith up, man, to build your mind up, things that, that give you things to meditate on for you to be dedicated to. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All praises to the most high. All praise. So, yeah, that was it on that. All right, so from there, go to uh, Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter, no, I'm sorry, go to James. We'll go to James first. James 4 and 1. James 4 and 1. This is the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust, uh -huh. that war in your members? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye, ye ask not. All right, only read down to verse 3. Ye ask and receive not. Because ye ask amiss. Right, right, right. Read that one again. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. Okay, so now let's see the, what this word amiss is. Let's see the definition of amiss. So he say, ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. Uh, consume it up on your lust. Right? So let's see what this amiss is. You ask and you receive, not because you ask, amiss. So let's see what he's referring to. Come amiss, on. adjective, not quite right. You ask, but you wasn't quite right with your action. Quite right with what? Your mindset. It's just telling you up above what was happening. For winds coming walls and rumors of walls. And what else? Read verse 1 again. From whence come wars and fightings among you. Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? You see that? That's why he said you ask amiss. Read the definition again. Amiss, not quite right. Uh huh. Inappropriate or out of place. Inappropriate or out of place. Remember, he, he already told us 
what to do, what type of fruits of the spirit we should be rolling in, mm -hmm. right? But then you're going to go ask a miss. Remember what he said over there at, um, um, hey, give me that one real quick. Uh, I believe it's uh, Mark 313, 13, 3. Mark, uh, I always forget that precept. Um, about repentance. About repenting. And Mark, I believe it's Mark. Mark, let me see. No, it's not 313. Might be 13.3. Let me see. Give me one second. Because you ask a miss. Um, no, that's not it. Matthew, Mark. God, that was a precept pet. Uh, let me go to Luke real quick. One second. Bear with me, Israel. What is it? 13, 13.3. 13, 13.3. That's what I'm looking for. And Luke. Luke 13, 3, yeah. Yeah, my apologies. Yeah, so he said you ask amiss. You're not quite right. You're not quite right in how you're asking or what you're asking for. Your actions, right? The things that you've been thinking about. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 3. Start at verse 2. Verse 2. Matter of fact, start at verse 1. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? So you see what they asked? Well, suppose, perhaps, or what if, right? Mm -hmm. Look how they asking. Read. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Now, I'm sorry, read that again. Yeah, verse 2. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? Right, so he's giving them another. So let's say, that, let's say they were. Read. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Right, so even with that mindset they had, Christ still let them know that you still have to do something. Your actions don't even, even whatever they're actually, they're going to get their judgment. But what about you? You going to likewise, likewise perish. Let's go back to James. So we was looking at a miss. Let's read that definition one more time as well. All right. And read verse three again. A miss, not quite right. Uh-huh. Inappropriate or out of place. Is there anything else with a miss? Anything else? Okay. All right. Don't worry about it. Let's read this verse 3 again. This is the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 3. Come on. Ye ask and receive not, uh -huh. because ye ask amiss. Right. Ye ask amiss. Not quite right. That's why you can't receive those things. Now give me Matthew. Matthew chapter 21, verse 18. He said, because ye ask amiss. We got to make sure that when we... Um, come to the Most High that we're asking things sincerely. Remember, the Most High know our thoughts. He know everything about us. Uh, even um, in Romans, they talk about we don't even know what to pray for. So we got we got to make sure our mind right. Go ahead. Twenty one eighteen. Yes, sir. Matthew twenty one eighteen. You you found some on the miss. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, let's read that one real quick. We'll read that. All right, so we're going to read this about a miss real quick. Come on. What does the word a miss mean? Uh-huh. Because you remember the scripture said, because ye ask a miss. Come on. Adverb, definition one, out of the right or proper course, order or condition, wrongly to speak. Miss, adjective, number two, improper, wrong, faulty, idioms, take a miss to be mistakenly offended at or resentful of, misunderstand. Misunderstand, but though the way the scripture was using it into 
to speak amiss or out of uh, out of course or wrongfully. They was acting wrongfully. That's why Christ said, ye gonna likewise perish. All right. Uh, let's go back to Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 21 and verse 18. Mm-hmm. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it. Come on. And found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on these on thee henceforward forever. Read. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? They was amazed on how fast it withered. Read. Verse 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not. And do what? And doubt not. Uh Uh-huh. Ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Right, and asking not amiss. That's what he's letting you know. Don't ask wrongfully. These type of things, we can move mountains. All right, we need so many men. Come on, let's gather the Don't ask amiss. It's going to be done. No, nobody just wake up and say, all right, uh, let's let's do this, let's do that. No. The most I seal your instructions, right? So we got to make sure that we continue trying to have our mindset um, on one accord with the most high God mindset, all right, that we're, we're doing his will, right? Hey, um, from there, go to 2 Kings chapter 18 and verse 1. And remember what I just said. You got to make sure that your mindset is like the most high God mindset. Your mind is meditating on on uh, the things that he want, right? Uh, for instance, just like we was just reading right here, he said you can move mountains, right? You can do these type. We can do these type of things. Whatever we put our mind to, we can do the things that we desire. Remember, only if it's according to uh, the most high God will. Watch this. This is the book of Second Kings, uh-huh. chapter 18 and verse 1. Now it came to pass in the third year of Hoshea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Mm -hmm. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Abi, the daughter of Zechariah. Come on. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Read that again. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. That's the first step. That's the first step. Even today, you have to examine yourself and see, am I doing the things that are right? Okay, the things that are right is um, the way I eat, dress, my communication, everything. Am Am I doing things right? Come on. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Come on according to all that David his father did. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, he removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves. So those are things like, remember, even in our mind, you know, um, the images that we think about. We have to remove those type of thoughts out of our mind now, right? Come on. And break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. Read. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it. And he called it Nehushtan. Uh-huh, come on. He See, trust- even when it came to idols, we're not supposed to idolize certain things. We had images, but we're not supposed to idolize. He said they burnt uh, incense into it, like worshiping it. Come on. Verse 5. Come on. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel. He did what? He trusted in the Lord God of Israel. You see that? The first thing he did things was right. The next step, he trusted in the Lord. Come on. So that after him was... a so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor any that were before him. Read. Here go the point right here. So you had two points already. One, he he did things right, and he trusted in the Lord. Watch this last thing he did. Read. Verse 6. For he clave to the Lord and departed not from following him, but kept his commandments which the Lord commanded Moses. Why? Right, read that again. For he clave to the Lord and departed this not was from the following him. This third act he did. He clave unto the Lord and departed not from following him. Read. 
but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. You see that? But he kept God's commandments, which God had gave unto Moses to give to the children of Israel, that they children may learn it after. These things will continue to be passed down to us. That's why we doing the uh, Fred Hamptons and uh, Malcolm X all over again. We're giving these things now with the more clear understanding of who we are. Because you, I, I seen, I seen um, videos, you're the children of Israel, you're the lost sheep, you're the, he's letting, hey, boldly. That's what we're doing today. Let's be right back, but more clearly now. We know who we are without a shadow of a doubt. We don't do these things amiss. Our mind is set like a flint on waking up our nation. All right? Hey, it's some, some, some heavy stuff, Israel, heavy stuff. So rock 24, 24. So we got to make sure that we're dedicated to the most high God business. What, what do you think Christ said as a young man? I must be about my father's business. That's how you got to be. Other than that, you're playing games. You're playing games. All right? That's why you had the some stone on good ground, some stone on store the ground, stony ground. That's why you had all of these type of different uh, people and their characteristics and their ways. It goes into their dedication. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24 and verse 24. Uh-huh. Faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he, may confer- that he may confirm you. Cleave unto him. Do what? Cleave unto him. That's what it just said about the king. He clave unto him, unto his commandment. He clave unto the Lord. Let's go back and read it one more time. First, Second Kings 18 and verse 6. And we're going to make the correlation real quick. So it said, cleave unto him. Watch this. This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 18 and verse 6. Mm-hmm. For he clave to the Lord. Right. He clave unto the Lord. Come on. And departed not from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. Right. So that's how he claved unto him, by keeping his commandments. How you think we're going to uh, be cleaved unto the Lord? By keeping his commandments. Same thing. That's why they say, what's the secret sauce? Come on, t- talk to me. What's the secret sauce? The laws, of course. Keeping God's okay. commandments. That's the secret sauce. We just read it. All right, come on, let's add on to it. Go back to Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24 and verse 24. Come on. Faint not to be strong in the Lord. You see that? Fear not. Fear not. Don't stop doing this thing to be near unto the Lord. Man, uh, last week, a captain showed me a picture. A brother used to be with us with no dang on fringes on. Man, yeah, I saw that. With no fringes on, man. That's a fearful thing, man. How the most I can take your mind like that. Read that again, man. Faint not to be strong in the Lord. Come on. That he may confirm you. Cleave unto him. For the Lord Almighty is God alone. Mm -hmm. And beside him. There is no other Savior. There ain't no other Savior. So what he say do, we got to do. Children of Israel, hey, bid them. <laughs> they make them fringes. That's what he said do. That's how we show that we're cleaving unto him. We can't depart from that. We can't lean on our own understanding. We have to do what the Most High commanded us to do. That's how you cleave unto him, by keeping his commandments. Um, Sirach chapter 6, verse 34. That's how you cleave unto him, by being obedient to what he bid us to do. It ain't no um, how you feel, when you want to do it. No, 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 no. This is a continual thing. It's a continual thing. Um, for instance, um, some machinery run without stopping. Mm-hmm. Unless something happens, it got to get maintenance. It get maintenance and go right back, and it never stop working. Well, that's how we got to be when it comes to these laws. Once you, you know, be think yourself, you're in the spirit now, you're keeping all commandments, stay there on. Continue to do it. Keep walking in the commandments. Keep doing the commandments. All right? Um, matter of fact, get that one real quick. Go to, um, and we'll come back here, Sirach 6. Um, Hosea 14 and 9. Hosea 14 and 9. This is what the Mosai said um, through the prophet Hosea. Come on. 
14.9. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 14 and verse 9. Come on. Who is wise, and he shall understand these things. Uh-huh. Prudent, and he shall know them. Read. For the ways of the Lord are right, uh -huh. and the just shall walk in them. So that's how you can be justified. That's short for justified. And the just shall walk in them. So that's what we should be doing. That's what the king, uh, what king was that? Uh, sorry about that. Who was it? Hezekiah. That's what King Hezekiah did. That's what he did. He walked in the commandments of the Lord. Did you locate it? All right. All right. Come on. Let's go back. Uh, Sirach 634. So the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk. That's how we're going to be justified, by keeping God's commandments. All right? Come on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 34. Come on. Stand in the multitude of the elders, and cleave unto him that is wise. You see that? It's letting you know how you're going to prosper, how you're going to get more knowledge, how you're going to get the wisdom that you're desiring. You have to do what? Read it one more time. Stand in the multitude of the elders uh -huh. and cleave unto him that is wise. You see that? You have to stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. That's how you grow in the truth. That's how, what do you think, um, uh, we have so many examples of our forefathers did that, cleaved unto him. Was that John laid on Christ's breast? Uh, Moses, Joshua, Elijah, Elisha? So many different examples. All right. Um, go to Romans 12 and 9. So we have to cleave unto him. All right. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 9. Come on. Let love be without dissimulation. Uh huh. Abhor that which is evil. Uh huh. Cleave to that which is good. Right, you have to cleave to that which is good. For what's good? For we know that the law is holy, just, and good. So Rock chapter 16, start at verse 14. So we have to cleave unto God laws. All right? We can't be wavery. We can't have doubt. That's why he said if you have faith like this, you can say it to the mountain. All right, so that's how we have to continue to build our faith, Israel. Knowing what you're into. You're into, you're into um, keeping eternal life. Right now, if you're keeping all commandments, you are a living example. Just like um, you have um, uh, these so-called role models trying to be examples. Nah, 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 this is greater than that. This spiritual right here. This spiritual. On the natural side, they try to show you how to get money. To be an example. That's what that is. But no, no, no. That ain't the example you need. The example you need is who you are by keeping these commandments. All right? Crafo Dollar showed you that ain't the way to go. Now he backpedaling. We ain't going to tell you to backpedal from keeping God's commandments. All right? Come on, read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 14. Uh huh. Make way for every work of mercy. For every man shall find according to his work. You see that? You got to wake, make, wake, make way for mercy. You got to make way for mercy. Why? Because you're going to be judged according to the things that you're doing. So you always have to, Paul said he died daily. For what? For an example for us. Come on. Verse 15. The Lord hardened Pharaoh mm -hmm. that he should not know him, mm -hmm. that his powerful works might be known to the world. Right, so God's powerful works may be known. We're not done with that. Come on. We're talking about the most our God works now. Watch this. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he hath separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Come on. Say, th say not thou. Did I, uh, I, look, I wanted to look at that one too. Did y'all get that one? Jotham, Joseph. Yeah, come on, let's read that real quick. Yeah. Matter of fact, read the, read the verse again, and then we're going to get that definition. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 16. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he had separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Right, he separated the light from the darkness with an adamant. Come on. Adamant, adjective. 
refusing to be persuaded or to change one's mind. Mm -hmm. Noun, a legendary rock or mineral to which many often contradictory properties were attributed, formerly associated with diamond or lodestone. Um, read down with the word origin. I see something in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. You was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word origin. Old English as a noun from Old French adamant via Latin from Greek adamus, adamant, untamable, invincible. Invincible. Come on. Later used to denote the hardest metal or stone, hence diamond, from. That was it. That was it. Read okay. that in parentheses again. Later, yes. Uh huh. Later used to denote the hardest metal or stone. Right. So it says that he separate darkness from light man, as an adamant. So it can't be moved. Can't be moved. It can't be moved. That's what it's saying about the Most High God Word when he said things, when he put things in place. Read sixteen again. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he has separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Come on. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? Right. So this is the person thinking that he can hide himself from God. There's so many people. God ain't going to recognize me. Come on. Verse 18. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth, and all that therein is shall be moved. When he shall visit. When he shall visit. You see that? So now, that's the, see, right. I'm trying to set it up to show you how your mindset should be. Knowing that God goes visit the earth, how your mindset should be. How it talks about in Peter, about your your holy conversation. Knowing that the, uh, that the time is near. Watch this. Come on. Verse 19. The mountains also and foundations of the earth shall be shaken with trembling mm -hmm. when the Lord looketh upon them. Come on. No heart can think upon these things worthily, and who is able to receive, to conceive his ways? Right. Now, hold that and go get Isaiah 55 and 8. And who is able to conceive his way? Who, who is able to understand God, God's ways, with all of these different things that he do? Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, uh -huh. neither are your ways my ways, Read. said the Lord. You see that? Our thoughts are not his thoughts, and our ways are not his ways. Read. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Right, right. Let's go back to Sirach. So he lets you know that we can't even imagine. Remember, we read that earlier. We can't even think about the things what the Most High God is trying to do. Come on. Verse 20. No heart can think upon these things worthily. Come on. And who is able to conceive his ways? Read. It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most part of his works are hid. Who can declare the works of his justice? Uh -huh. Or who can endure them? Right, read. For his covenant is afar off, and the trial of all things is in the end. You see that the trials of uh, all things are in the end. Remember, it talks about that in Isaiah. Give me that one real quick. I believe it's 48 and 10. 48 and 10, I believe it is. See that? No. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see. 48. Let me see. Isaiah. I read that one in a while. 10. It, 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 and 48 and 10. Let me see. Hold up. Uh, the beginning to the, from the beginning to the end. Uh, let me see. 48. And no, it's not 48. 40 is it 46? Yeah, 46 and 10. My apologies. Isaiah 46 and 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. That's what we're reading about in Sirach. His counsel shall stand, declaring the end from the beginning. Read that again in Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. Who can declare the works of his justice? Or who can endure them? 
for his covenant is afar off, and the trial of all things is in the end. Read. He that wanteth understanding will think upon vain things, and a foolish man erring imagineth folly. Right, a foolish man erring imagineth folly. Remember, he's talking about what, what these things come from, these walls within your members like that. Come on. My son, hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words with thy heart. Right. Read. He tells us that in Proverbs chapter 3. Read. I will show forth doctrine in weight. Matter of fact, let's go get that one real quick. Um, uh, Proverbs uh, 3, and, 3 and start at verse 1. Proverbs 3, and well, my son, hearken unto, hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words in thy heart. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1. Come on. My son, forget not my law, uh -huh. but let thine heart keep my commandments. Read. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Mm -hmm. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck and write them upon the table of thine heart. Mm -hmm. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Right. So there you go right there. He's letting you know the things that you have to, you have to do to get this knowledge. Matter of fact, jump down to chapter 4 and verse 5. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. And chapter 7, verse 1. 1, 2. Book of Proverbs, chapter 7, and verse 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. Right. So that's what he's commanding us to do. Um, matter of fact, jump over to chapter 4, read verse 1 through 5. Uh, yes. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear, ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no knowledge. Come on. For I give good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. You see that? So he's letting them know about this knowledge, right? The how you get it. He said, attend unto my words, O ye children, unto this instruction of your father. Read. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Come on. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. You see that? We just read that. Read it again. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Right. Let thy heart retain thy words. Back to Sirach. Let thy heart retain thy words. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 24. Mm -hmm. My son, hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words with thy heart. Come on. I will show forth doctrine and weight. And declare his knowledge exactly. Right, right, right. How we do that? Because we have to study to show ourselves approved. Read. Verse 26. The works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning. Uh-huh. We already read that too in Isaiah. Read. And from the time he made them, he disposed the parts thereof. Come on. He garnished his works forever. And in his hand are the chief of them unto all generations. Read. They neither labor nor are weary nor cease from their works. Come on. None of them hindered the, another, and they shall never disobey his word. Right, read. These are all, all things that he created. Read. After this, the Lord looked upon the earth and filled it with his blessings. With all manner of living things hath he covered the face thereof, and they shall return unto it again. Right, including us. We're going to return unto the dust, it tells us in Ecclesiastes. All right. So, hey, look, Israel. We got to be meditating on keeping God's commandments. That's what it's all about. That's what our meditation should be about. What else do we have to live for after knowing this knowledge right here? Most I just want us to endure. Uh, I say, um, um, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, read this one real quick. Um, 
First uh, John chapter two verse seventeen. First John two and seventeen. This is the book of First John, chapter two and verse seventeen. Come on. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. Mm -hmm. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Right. That's how you, you once you're doing God's will, you just continue doing it, mm -hmm. and you're gonna abide forever, eternal life. That's the whole goal. That's the promise for us. All right. Hey, uh, real quick, give me uh Proverbs chapter. 11 verse 19 11 verse 19 so we have to um keep the commandments if we want eternal life uh what is like um um it's like a person thinking that um uh, you have such a hard task to do this, this this is not a hard task it's just denying yourself all right just like when it comes to fasting it's just denying yourself Little simple tasks that he commanded us to do. All right, Day of Atonement. Just little things he asked us to do. They're not overwhelming things. Come on. Like impossible. That's why they teach God laws done away with. Like as if no man could keep all the laws. Come on, man. <laughs> they try to make it like it's so hard to do. All right, go ahead and read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 19. Come on. As righteousness tended to life, so he that pursueth evil, pursue it to his own death. Right, going to show you about the things that you meditate on, and that becomes your your destiny. If you meditate on these type of things and evil going to pursue you, that's going to be your death. But you want eternal life, so you want to be doing the will of God. Jump down to chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 1. Uh-huh. A wise son heareth his father instruction. Come on. But a scorner heareth not rebuke. You see that? So it's going to show you what? The difference. The difference right there. So what the things that you're meditating on, what are you going to do? You're going to apply what your father is telling you? Or you're not. Read. Verse 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. Uh-huh. But the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. You see that? So how are these things even possible? Watch this. Read that again. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. Now, go to, um, I believe it's Sirach chapter 6 and verse 5. So a man shall eat good by, uh, I forgot how it said, like the words of his mouth, by the fruit of his mouth. Watch this. Uh-huh. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 5. Sweet language will multiply friends. You see that? That's how, that's Those are the type of things that happen. Read. And a fair-speaking tongue will increase kind greeting. Now let's go back and read that Proverbs again, 13 and 2. So a fair-speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 2. Come on. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. You see that? By the fruit of his mouth, by these kind greetings. You have people who wouldn't mind doing things for you. Remember, a, a soft answer, turn away yeah. wrath. Right? Come on. You but don't want to stir up anger. Read. But the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. Right, shall eat violence. Matter of fact, get that one real quick. Uh, is that 15 and 1? Proverbs 15 and 1. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 1. Remember, these are things that you have to meditate on. You have to meditate on the way we, you know, treat each other, talk to one another, the, our character, right? These are things that, um, as you think, that so that's what you're going to do. Read. A soft answer turneth away wrath. Come on. But grievous words stir up anger. There you go. That's what that fool fall into play at. With those grievous words, he will. That's what he eat. Matter of fact, go back and read that one again. Thirteen and two. Book of Proverbs, chapter thirteen and verse two. Come on. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. Shall eat 
violence because he's stirring up anger. What comes with that? Grief, envy, strife. Drop down to verse 15, same chapter. Verse 15, good understanding giveth favor. You see, good understanding <laughs> giveth favor, read. But the way of transgressors is hard. Man, it's a hard life not keeping these commandments, not applying these different things right here, right? By not connect, by not correcting one another, you go into um, a root of bitterness. All these type of different things could happen, right? Um, let's get this real quick. This will be the last one. Philippians 4 and 8. Philippians 4 and 8. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 4 and verse 8. Come on. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, uh -huh. whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, Think on these things. Meditate on these things, things that are lovely, just, pure. All right? So the scriptures tell us to think on these things. Meditate on these things. All right? How you can be a better example. What things you can do better than you did um, yesterday. Remember, we are all um, uh, uh, are going through different things and that we have to continue to overcome. All right, Israel? So, hey. Happy New Moon. I'm Officer Mike out of Houston Camp. Officer Art Neal. And it's been Daily Bread. We hope y'all enjoyed the class. Dedication. No, meditation becomes dedication. Right. All right. And with that, we'll say shalom. Shalom. Said they must have forgot. They on the side, they watching, hoping, praying, wishing would stop. Either get down or get laid down. I mean, you with us or not? We at the tip of the top. And if you sit in my spot, that means the bigger the drop. I mean, they must have forgot. They must have forgot. They must have forgot. Man, they must have forgot. I said they must have forgot. I seen you hating the other day. I mean, you was going on and on. I started getting my yawning on like somebody put something boring. Shot after shot. Is he snoring? You got that chloroform. It happened to the Lord of Lords, so no, this isn't foreign form. Through my fail, real you know Judeo. Use a LMAO. I figured out how sun move, unlike Galileo. They get no time of day, though. That's why they trying to lay low. But from the A way out, hey, they yeah, said it's lit. My God, I tried to calm it down. I swear I did. I tried. Worldwide going live with my tribes. I hate a tribe, but he didn't survive. Nah, 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 nah. I said it's lit. My God. Tried to calm it down, I swear I did, I tried Worldwide going live with my tribe I hate a tribe, but he didn't survive Nah, 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 nah. I said they must have forgot They on the side, they watching, hoping, praying, wish it would stop Either get down or get laid down, I mean you with us or not We at the tip of the top And if you sit in my spot, that mean the bigger the drop I mean they must have forgot They must have forgot They must have forgot Forgot. I said they must have forgot. They on the side, they watching, hoping, praying, wish it would stop. Either get down or get laid down. I mean, you with us or not? We at the tip of the top. And if you sit in my spot, that mean the bigger the drop. I mean, they must have forgot. They must have forgot. They must have forgot. Man, they must have forgot. I said they must have forgot.
that liquor said can't stand cause the ship going down torpedo and no I can't stop for a minute you know that I'm still on my job still on my job and I know they want me to fail but yeah I'm still going hard still going hard and I don't complain about the hand I was dead I'm just playing my cards and even though life is good crazy at times we don't cry we just stick up our praises to God homie that's fake keep the law just to be safe 12 tries literally we great still in my faith all praise to the most high he chose us tell him we straight so eat them ice when in that set tie anything they doing gonna backfire my people making sure we don't backslide that's right that's why At first, 70 souls, now they send the seas. Still in need of a savior, still royalty. Still suffering as a slave, no equality. This nine to five taskmaster still pressing me. Still abundantly increasing in captivity. Chains rotting the bones, but now these chains are spiritually. Still abundantly increasing in captivity. Chains rotting the bones, but now these chains are spiritually. Moses saw an Egyptian smiting the Hebrew. I seen a couple hundred on the five o'clock news. Saw an Egyptian smiting the Hebrew. Two dead bodies, lifeless, hanging by a noose. Homie, I refuse to walk this life in two left shoes. Walk around in circles, shucking job and just for your amusement. Now I'm seeing what amusement. The truth to set you free in the end. Blank canvas, grounds wet, barrel smoking, mothers crying, no sun, life stolen, Castro, Central Bland, tapes rolling, Biggie Smalls and Tupac, who they notice, three fifths, get a bay, protesting, Emmett Till, full saw, no resting, burned alive, Jim Crow, your oppression, prophecies came alive, Lord save me. Pass over, pass over. Captivity, oh, Lord, please take me from this captivity. 